So is this what we doing now for a brand new storyline in this sector? Fire Babe over there interviewing Becca, who is a self-proclaimed hacker. A self-proclaimed hacker, y'all, had, what, 1,200 people in her chat talking about some, this girl didn't hack Sean Bradley, she didn't hack Jay Wilson, she didn't hack Tracy. Well, she's trying to hack Tracy, but she said Tracy, Tracy changed her password, so she wasn't able to get into Tracy's, but she's not going to give up. Then she got mad at someone in Five Babes' chat named uh, Brian the Songwriter, I think that's his name. Everybody likes him in the sector. I don't really know him. I just see him in the chat. She said that if he keeps coming for her, this uh, Becca, the self-proclaimed hacker, she said that she's going to hack into Brian, the songwriter's uh, emails. Now, she says she can hack into anybody's emails. She said there's a dark web called Onion. I can't think of the other name she was saying, Tune or Tor or something. Because she was going in and out and getting very, very agitated. Now, what I'm hearing, this is all alleged, that this is the, the poop girl. The girl that said that she ate Sean Bradley's popcorn, um, but she has a diet of gluten-free. She has a gluten-free diet. And all why, and why now are you coming out saying that you are this big hacker and you are hacking everyone in this sector? And why is Fire Babe giving her a damn platform to say this bull crap? Now, first of all, Fire Babe, weren't you the one who was so flustered and mad at VS because VS typed in Wiley's chat that she was going to do some things to your little six-year-old girl? And you know what, what I'm talking about, that she was going to stick a you-know-what into your little girl's mouth. Mm-hmm. And you were so flustered and mad and said that VS has stalked you and cyber bullied you and, and doxed you and your family. And you said that your family is killers from Chicago. Mm -hmm. This is you. And you got up there and you scammed your subscribers and your viewers, got money for Super Chats, got money for, for uh, Super Chats and Cash Apps and PayPal's to get this lawyer that no one seen, no one saw a damn receipt. And you you did all these videos, got your come up off of VS, Larry Nelson, and Von Yvonne beef, but yet you came on here being your authentic self. Yeah, you came on here being your authentic self, all right. So now, since it has blowed over, you said you was going to get VS locked up. VS has never gone to jail. She's been out here. The police came to her door and everything. She didn't even open up the damn door. But you had all of your subscribers all hype over um, this alleged fake outrage and desperate plea for help because uh, VS is after you. VS is stalking you. When VS live in Virginia, you live in Chicago, that you kept on going to the courthouse. You took all these days off to go uh, get a restraining order or a protective order against VS because you were doxxed. Now you got this fake pretend hacker Becca saying that she's hacking into everybody's emails basically doxing people she's saying up there I'm doxing I'm doxing and I'll dox all of you and I can break into bank accounts this is what you're saying she's saying on your platform and you allowing it to happen so are you against a for hacking are you against a for or for doxing because last I knew you were going to jail you were going to jail houses and, and proclaiming your fake outrage because VS is after you. She's stalking you. She's doxing you. And you bled your viewers. You bled your subscribers for their money. You were trying to get every last red cent that you can get out of your subscribers. And when you saw that the gig was up, when people saw right through all of your lies, you had Chris who probably is someone that you are scamming for his disability check because you said that he was slow and had mentally illness, mentally was mentally ill. You 
had that man come up to your door at five in the morning when we know you're up at that time of morning because you're doing uh youtube videos and slurping on coffee mm -hmm, so they say mm -hmm, alleged coffee we know what you're really slurping on now you had your camera ready to cuss out that mentally challenged man that has been coming to your house all the other times you was getting his check and taking his groceries for your little girl but all of a sudden, when you saw the gig was up, that people are seeing right through your bull crap of you scamming your uh, supporters out of money for a lawyer so that you can get VS locked up, never did get her locked up. You came up with this ploy with Chris and set that man up so that you can get more and more and more views off of you degrading and verbally abusing a, a mentally ill man. And this is what all these 1200 Babe Nation people in your chat watching. This is what you all are supporting this girl, Fire Babe, mm -hmm, the liar. That's why they call you Lie Babe, uh, Fire Babe, because you keep calling me a liar when you are the biggest one, the biggest scammer, always coming up with all these fake storylines to keep your channel going. There's nothing original and new about the YouTube news that you do for real. We already have Heidi Snowflash. She's delivering the news. You have me when I feel like coming on to do the news. You have Tracy. She's doing the news three or four or five times a damn day. You have Jay Wilson. He is doing the news. You got V. Everybody in this sector is doing news off of each other. But yet, you think that you're some gifted prophetess. I say prophet mess. Doing, you think you're doing a better job than all these other people on YouTube? So, once everybody figures out that the scam is up, the jig is up you create another storyline so the same girl allegedly becca the hacker sounds like the girl who said that she bought sean's popcorn and went to the bathroom all over her damn self so is this the same girl fire babe inquiring minds want to know who is this girl that you let on her on your channel to say that she's hacking all of the YouTube content creators that you are promoting on your channel when you were just against doxing way back in October. You built your channel off of that. You got all of your subscribers hyped up. You're going to send VS to jail. It never happened. You got all your subscribers hyped up. They, provo they gave you money. So that you can lock VS up. VS is not locked up. You ought to be a damn shame. Five babe. Oh my goodness. I tell you girl. The things that people would do. To fake a storyline on YouTube. Child. I'm watching Sean Bradley now. Sean Bradley say ain't nobody hacking to none of his damn accounts. He said he ain't paid a damn soul. So he didn't de debunked this girl. So five babe said she's going to be coming on at 12 o'clock. Let me see what time it is here on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. It is uh, 11 17 on the East Coast. Child, I guess you got to get her live straight, child. When she, when Fire Babe looked in that chat and seen everybody was not for all that hacking and doxing that she's promoting on her channel, that's when Fire Babe got all flustered. Oh my God. Oh, she was shooketh. She was shooketh. Oh, boy. This is what y'all are donating to. Y'all mad at Rita. You're mad at VS. All these people doxing and threatening people's lives. But yet y'all are donating to someone who's saying clearly she's a hacker. And that she's going to be doxing even, even the people in the chat. She was threatening to hack them. And people study super chatting this mess. I just don't even know. Y'all might as well take y'all money and give it to Rita. At least we know the bug dysfunctional entertainment that she got going on is real. I'm telling you, y'all, but y'all gonna pay for Fire Babe and her lies. Mm, 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 mm.